Philo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family. From Chicago to the UK, man, as y'all know, I started my Premier League quest. This is day four of my job. You know what I'm saying? Ah. If you want to see me react to the full extended highlights, Patreon.com is where you can watch it at. Links down below. First things first. Manchester City versus Bradford. Brentford. I, I didn't even say their name wrong. Apparently Brentford's coming into the season 2-1. and one. Manchester's coming in 3-1. and one. And you know who Brentford lost to? <laughs> Liverpool. Talk to me. Talk to me. Anywho. Holland lost a family member. We didn't know that if he was going to play. Turns out he did play. And for Brentford, that was bad news because Buddy scored both of the goals. It was 2-1. And the, then the question that I have, right, is Manchester City good without Holland? Talk to me. I, this is a serious question. Like, the, the three games that I've watched out of the four that they played, He's the only one that scores. Now, I get it. You defer to your best player. Absolutely. But if he wouldn't have played this game because of the loss in his family, RIP, would, 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 would Manchester City have won up against a good squad like Brentford? It's a solid question, I believe. Because Holland is 95% of the time going to be, 99% of the time going to be the biggest person on the field, fastest and strongest, and low-key, most of the time, the most skilled. <laughs> and they're going to feed them. Why wouldn't they, man? But like I said, man, 2-1, I don't think anybody thought that they were going to lose. Simple. Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. I have to be fair. I have to say what I got to say. Liverpool, they, I don't feel like they came to play. I, didn't, I don't feel like they were very aggressive. Um, I just, I don't feel, I didn't feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? Um... I feel like they played into the hands of Nottingham. Uh, like Nottingham really controlled the tempo of the game. They did whatever they wanted. It was only 1-0. But it doesn't matter. If we're trying to win the if we're trying to win the cup, if we're trying to win, <laughs> we can't have performances like this when Man City is out here. You know what I'm saying? Like when when they're doing that, well, how the fuck we going to You know what I'm saying? Like bro, be more aggressive. Get more attempts at the goal. These people came in the field. They came to your home and beat you for the first time in 54, 59, however many years. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm hurt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. We will recover. This is not the end. It's just it's just a lapse in judgment. It's a lapse in play. We're coming off a bye week. You know what I'm saying? So next week. Another week. Y'all had a week to regroup, re, 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 get, re, you know what I'm saying? To sit down as a team and, and, and really, really think, hey, what can we do different? And y'all came out and did absolutely nothing different, Everton. Nothing. Nothing. And I was, I was, I was fully cheering for y'all like i don't care if y'all win but i like you suck i want to see you get a w 
I want to see you get a W. You got two goals. Okay, boom, boom. All we got to do is play defense. And that's the problem right now. There's no defense. None. And I, and at first, I was blaming a goalie, which he still takes some of the blame. He still takes a lot of the blame. But the people that are supposed to, the, the last line of defense before the, goal, the goalie, what the hell are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? And I asked this question in the, in the reaction. I said, when y'all growing up playing football, are you taught to ball watch? Or when there's a pass, when there's a pass coming up in the air, are you taught to look at the ball or are you taught to look at the, 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 the offensive player that the ball may go to? Because there's no way in me that I believe that you're taught to look at that ball. Because there's no way, there's, no, there's not 100% that it's going to go to you. Yeah, keep an eye on it, but also keep an eye on where your defenders are. I mean, your offensive players are. They're, they're, they're behind you, close to the goal. They're in scoring position while y'all ball watching. Oh, my God. Up 2-0, lose 3-2. I, uh, how are the fans doing? Somebody go check on your homie that's a fan of Everton because he's really going through it. He's really going through it. He he go get hit that man a drink, a pint on you. you when your friends suffer, you got to make sure they okay. Don't let your friends that are Everton fans suffer in silence because this at this point <clears throat> Somebody's got to get scapegoated. Somebody's getting fired. Somebody's getting released. Somebody's getting traded. Some, something's got to happen. I don't care. Like you can, There's no way you can be this bad. Oh, my God. Is there anybody else this bad? And it ain't even that they... The, you no, know, they are the worst. What makes them the worst is their ability to blow a lead two times in a row. You just getting goals put up on you. People are out here stat padding on y'all. I feel like pe teams just go in now and like, man, let's go down two. Let's get down two and then just let's give ourselves a challenge. This is ridiculous. Liverpool next month, next week, man. Liverpool will recover. Ah, Manchester United versus Southampton. I'm not going to lie. Somebody told me I should watch this game. And when I was looking for games to watch, which ones to watch, I skipped over it because I felt like Manchester United should beat Southampton. Southampton has not won a game yet. So, so what, like, the only reason I could have should have watched it is if there was an upset. You know what I'm saying? I expected Man U, Manchester United to beat them. Nothing happened in this game that I didn't think was going to happen. Somebody got a red card. They got kicked out for this for the rest of the game and the next one for Southampton. But, like, does it really mean anything? You're already 0-4. Like, <laughs> ooh. Bro, want to go home and relax with his fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. I ain't going to even lie. Like, the moment they started showing... The positions and who was playing what? I knew Southampton was going to lose because of their jersey. It's a trash jersey. It's a bad jersey. It's it's bad. Whatever that, whatever that is across their chest, terrible. I know it's sponsorship, but it's it's bad. And then the stripes on the front with on the and on the sleeves and just the plain red back is terrible. So you look good, you play good, and they look terrible. So I knew they was going to lose, but. I'm not surprised <laughs> is the end, end result of what I'm trying to say. Man. And last but not least, for me at least, we got Tottenham versus Arsenal. Arsenal, you know, I, 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 like, I like soccer. I like soccer, and I feel like soccer has either assisted or scored himself on most goals that, that Arsenal has scored. Uh... Even even attempts that didn't pan out, like he's he's a focal point of the offense. Once again, he assisted from the inbound on the uh, to get the score 
versus Tottenham, the only score. So, I mean, you know. And this was the Derby Crosstown rivalry, man. A lot of fans had a lot of stuff riding on this. Homies versus homies. You know what I'm saying? Bragging rights. Bragging rights were up in the air for this. And if you were a Tottenham fan, I'm sorry. You lost, buddy. Better luck next time. <laughs> TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post post notification bells. Remember, we do watch the full highlights on Patreon. Link is down in the description. I'm, I'm actually still mourning Liverpool. Liverpool's loss. Hurts.